This will be our video on basic programming functionality. <clears throat> Again, the purpose of these videos is for uh, pro programming basics, just to get you started. Um, if you are interested in uh, programming functionality that you do not see in these videos, please contact your local Schneider representative to find out about local programming classes. So, uh, to get started, uh, under the program section in the navigation window you'll see tasks and under mast for master task uh, you see sections you right click on the sections uh, area and select new section I'm going to give it a name we'll just call it test one and you're going to select your language you have a choice of uh, structured text instruction list function block diagram, sequential function chart, or ladder. Structured text is a little bit higher level text-based language, kind of similar to what you would use with C programming. Instruction list is more of a simple based uh, text language, uh, kind of similar to what QBasic used to be in DOS. Function block diagram is your typical function block library that you would uh, usually see in a programming package like this. Sequential function chart is your flowchart type uh, process uh, uh, library. And uh, LD is for ladder diagram, that's your, your typical IEC ladder. We'll start with a uh, ladder diagram uh, today. And uh, we have this area here where you can select protection. Uh, the default is none. You can select read only, which would make um, anyone else who doesn't have the password who opens this program not be able to make changes and only read it or you have no read no write which would uh, protect your proprietary uh, intellectual property uh, if you're an OEM type person who uh, does not want anyone to see your code. Uh, these other tabs we'll uh, get into under different uh, more advanced videos later um, right now we'll leave the default of no protection and we'll click on our OK and it'll open up our blank programming screen. Just double click on the title bar to expand it out. Uh, typical functionality, select your contact and just click it in. Uh, normally close contact. Um, your uh, positive and negative edge uh, one shots um, and a coil and of course you have your uh, your shorts also um, like you would for uh, again any other any other programming language um, once you have your uh, your ladder diagram functions on the screen Simply double click on one, it'll open up the expression box. You can uh, dot 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 and select one of our pre made variables. Our uh, motor one running variable is an actual physical discrete input. We can select that, and uh, of course, you wouldn't have that on the uh, on the coil. <laughs> um, you can uh, select one that is just an elementary variable like our HMI auto um, you can also well you can also create a variable on the fly we'll call this uh, variable one and when it doesn't exist in the variable database, it's going to ask you, do you want to create the variable? And we make it a Boolean. We'll make this an eBoolean. And the difference is an eBoolean actually takes eight bytes like a, uh, a standard word, but it has a uh, history associated with it. And you have to have eBool for uh, one shots and other functionality. Um, it's good to uh, get in the practice of, of managing your bools and eBools properly so that the, the bits that you're going to want to use, one shots and, and other types of functionality like that, you make them e and the uh, 
ones that do not need that functionality, you select full so that you're managing your memory properly and, and only taking one bit where you need to. So we'll select eBull for this and click on our green check mark for OK. And now we've just created a new variable that'll be put into the database. Um, uh, if we uh, go back to our sections, create another new section, and so this time we'll select uh, function block diagram because that's one of the more common uh, programming languages. We'll call this test2. Um, again, leave protection at none. And the way to deal with our function block library is uh, we're going to right click and go to FFB input assistant. Once we uh, get this screen, we click on our dot 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 and go to our live set uh, 6.0, expand that out, go to base library. We can go to, uh, for instance, logic, select and, and we'll pick and bool. Click OK. And then we just click in to add that logic in there. Uh, we can now, if we wanted to, rather hold our control button down, click on it, and drag a copy down to create another AND block. Or if we go back to our FFB input assistant, now that we've used that particular block, we can click our down arrow and it lists it. So it lists the uh, commonly used blocks. Um, once we have our blocks on here, we select our, uh, our linking tool and bring our uh, block over there. Let's select our linking tool and we will, you see how it, it has the plus sign. When you get a little bit close to a block, it has the uh, arrow with the line through it, meaning you're not there yet. And when you get on it, then it turns back to a plus sign. I'm going to click there, drag it down, click there. And now those two blocks are linked. So we could put our two input variables here, an input variable here, or some other logic. And then the output of this block is linked to that input. Uh, and then we could put our final output variable here. Um, the other thing with a uh, the, with the function block diagram is you might want to negate the uh, one of the pins. So you click on uh, toggle pin negation and click on the the pin that you want to negate, and a little circle pops up there. Now that's a normally closed pin and your variable will actually work opposite of how it normally would.